We're a rented farm of about 350 acres. There's my dad and myself. My family's been on the farm for 50 years, starting with my granddad, my dad's dad. Well, it's uh, just gone half four. So uh, we're gonna go out now, start the day, check the cows, um, feed them up, and then uh, should get done in time for breakfast and the vet coming. We're milking now about 115 Holstein cows. Uh, averaging about 30 litres per cow per day. So we've also got about 250 sheep which uh, breed commercial butchers lambs and go into the human food chain. Yeah, let's go. I'm Fergus, the vet, and uh, what we're doing today is just doing some pregnancy diagnosis just to check that they're in calf and keep them productive, really. What I've got is a, an ultrasound scanner, which uh, the head here, um, what it does is it sends out a sound wave um, and how that reflects back into the probe gives me a picture up here and hopefully pick up that it's got a small calf in it. So we'll see what we've got. PD. This, this is a, a pregnancy diagnosis test. So that was a positive. Um, so she has got a calf inside her. Every day that you spend that's not in calf is money lost. Yeah. What would you do without Fergus? Without her, we'd struggle. We'd uh, probably have to hire a second rate vet, I think. Yeah. That'd be a disaster. <laughs> Stop it, you'll make me embarrassed. Milk the cow, milk the cow, let me, let me show you how. Milk the cow, milk the, milk the, milk the cow, milk the cow, let me, let me show you how. The, the cows are all fitted with collars, so if they come in before the due to be milked again, um, which is dependent on the yield, uh, and, and we've told the computer how often we want each cow to be milked, then the front gate opens and they just get kicked out. If they don't go out, there's a little electric zapper which gives them a pulse to try and encourage them to come out faster. And it won't feed them unless they're due to be milked as well. I'm inseminating a heifer with bull semen, which is a job I've done for 25 years. So um, it sort of ties in quite nice with my life. Uh, because I'm working in the environment where I, I, I have my hobby and my passion. There's not, we haven't got many neighbours, so say, just, just, just for social reasons, it's, it's nice living in the countryside, but there's not as many people nearby, and there's not as much to do. I almost feel like if I started farming, maybe I, I'd commit to it for life, because it's my family thing. Like, if I'm going to start working at home full time and start running the business, I, don't, I wouldn't want to mess it up. The cows get more friendly the longer you stand around. Go down, reach under, grab a bucket, pull that udder. Milk the cow. Milk the cow.